Today I'm going to show you how to properly fill your air conditioning system. So say you just did a repair on your air conditioning system and you replaced the part or did something. Uh, and now you need to fill it back up with refrigerant. What you should not do is just uh, hook up a can of refrigerant that you get at the auto parts store and fill it up. Uh, when you did the repair or say you had a leak and you fixed the leak, when, you, when that happened, um, the system is now saturated with uh, the atmosphere, meaning um, outside air has gotten into the system and it has caused moisture to get into the system. That moisture needs to be pumped out because when the system gets cold, the moisture is going to freeze and that's going to cause damage. So what you're going to need, and you can actually rent this at auto parts stores, um, you're going to need a <clears throat> vacuum pump that's made for this type of thing. What this will do is you will hook this up and it will suck out all the atmosphere and get all the moisture out of the system. You'll also need a set of manifold gauges to actually hook everything up and uh, monitor the pressure. The way this works, um, take the middle yellow line from your manifold gauges and you just screw it on to the pump. Don't use any tools for this. Do it hand tight. There we go. Obviously plug the pump in. Then you're going to find the low side service port and you got to hook up the blue or low side of your manifold gauges to it and make sure the valves are closed. I'll show you that in a second. So these are your manifold gauges. Um, you turn these to the right to close the valves. So the middle line is the yellow line or what you use to feed it with. Um, and that hooks up to your vacuum pump for the stage. Uh, blue line is the low pressure side, red line is the high pressure side. So we're going to make sure the valves are closed. We hooked up the blue line to the low pressure, we hooked up the yellow line to the vacuum pump, and now we're going to pump out the system. So we're going to turn on the uh, pump. We need to open the valve to the low pressure side so it can actually uh, get to the system. There we go. And you're going to let this sit for about 30 to 45 minutes. The longer the better. You need to make sure that all the moisture is sucked out of the system. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes. Uh, I'm going to shut the valve to close off the system from the pump. Take note of the reading. Okay, it's got one notch below 30. Turn the pump off. Now we're going to wait about 30 to 40 minutes again to see if uh, this needle drops. And if it does, that means you have a leak. You need to fix the leak uh, and uh, do this whole process over again. Also, um, it's a really good idea to replace the receiver dryer slash accumulator because that's inside of that it has a desiccant which captures moisture. And if your system has been leaking, or has had a leak for a good amount of time, it's likely that that desiccant has been saturated. So you need to, it's a good idea to replace that as well. Okay, it's been about eh, maybe 40 minutes and the uh, needle hasn't moved. So now that I, now I know there's no leaks in the system, I can now fill it. Alright, so <clears throat> this system takes pretty much exactly three cans. <clears throat> and really, um, Air conditioning systems are extremely sensitive to how much refrigerant you put inside of them. Honestly, I don't even have the correct tools to deal with it, uh, but I get by. So, <clears throat> you get one of these little adapters, this is the way I do it. You can get the thing with the pressure gauge on it, but this is the way I do it. You just screw this adapter on, make sure it goes on there nice, and <clears throat> we're going to... Now attach the manifold gauges to it. And just finger tight. Um, <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to start the car. Uh, I'm going to open up the valve on the manifold gauge and then hold this upside down and shake it and that will until the whole can is gone.
Okay, so what you're seeing me do here is I am screwing down the little valve and attached to that valve is a spike. The spike will puncture the can and uh, when you retract the valve it'll let the refrigerant out of the can. So um, I'm making sure the valve is open on the manifold gauges and then I'm unscrewing the valve there so the refrigerant can go into the system. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is make sure you turn your car to max cool inside the cabin so that when the system gets enough uh, refrigerant the compressor will kick on so just we gotta keep doing this keep adding a can um, until the system is full okay so now it's time to switch can so first I'm gonna and this is really important close the valve on the manifold gauges. Otherwise, when you unscrew the can, uh, the refrigerant's going to start leaking out of the system into the atmosphere. So um, I'm opening it slowly. There's a little bit left. Uh, really, you should wait long enough until there's not any left, but this did not have that much. Um, but again, that's an indication you didn't wait long enough. It'll feel empty for a really long time, but there's st there'll still be a little bit left. So just go longer than you think you need to. Uh, anyway, so now I'm going to screw on the next can the same way we did the last one. And um, we're going to do the same thing to screw it on and then screw down the valve to puncture the can. Uh, open up the valve on the manifold gauges to um, open the system to the can and then unscrew the valve on the can to let the refrigerant out and then we're going to do the same thing we're going to hold it upside down and keep shaking it okay so I've added three cans and um, first thing I'm going to do is close the gauges the valve and the gauges uh, then I'm going to unscrew the can and um, Remove the gauges from the low pressure side, put the cover on the service board, and then turn off the vehicle. Now we got nice cold air. So that's pretty much it. Um, you might say, well, what about adding oil? And again, that's tricky. The only thing I can really do is try to put it in this hose. But again, um, it's really hard to do that and it's messy. Uh, the best bet might to be get, um, they have the little packs, they have actually little shots of oil you could attach to this, just like I attached to those cans. And that would probably be your best bet. Otherwise, I mean, there's really not a good, effective way to add oil to the system. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching.